do you motivate people um, intrinsically? That is always the challenge, right? Um, yeah. And part of what we subscribe to is the philosophy of, of motivational interviewing. If that's anything that you've read, it's a type of, of uh, counseling counseling method. And one of the things they talk about in there is this, what's called a state of readiness for change, yeah. right? And some people come in in a contemplation stage or in a pre. There's all these different stages. But if you have a client who's in like a pre-contemplation stage, they might still be talking to you, but they're not really ready to change. And there's almost nothing that you can do as a coach to facilitate that. Some people just simply aren't actually ready to do what it takes to change their life. However, if someone is in a contemplation stage where they're considering it, they're kind of ready for it, um, the best way to go about facilitating that change is to is about like the art of coaching, like I was talking about, learning how to connect with people, build a relationship, get them to do it step by step by step, you know, one habit at a time, okay. not overwhelm them, not just flood them with information and, and making all these changes all at once. You know, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Yeah. Right. So it's about building, a, not that you have to be Mr. Rogers and, and be this like uh, lovey-dovey, that's not what I'm saying. It's about just building a relationship. You know, tough love is a relationship as well. But you can only get there once you already have trust, right? So it's you need to build a rapport, build a relationship, have a client-coach connection where you can actually communicate and talk, and then you go from there um, if they're ready to change. So what if they're not ready to change? You just say, I, sorry, I can help you? Come back. Um, I mean, there are different ways you can go about it. If you really feel like you know, you've done everything you can, you've, you've worked to build a connection and to facilitate change, and you can then talk to them about it. You know, I'm not sure you're really ready to, to do what it takes to make these changes. And you you know, you know do it gently or, or ho however that person might need it. And say so you're always ready for them whenever they're ready to change. Whenever they want to come back and they yeah. feel like they're ready to to change some habits or, or make some difference in their life, like you are here for them. You are more than willing to or, or more than happy to work with them in the future. Yeah. Um, but at this moment, you don't feel like they're in a, in a place where they're ready to do that. And you just have a discussion. Because maybe they'll say, you know what? No, this is sometimes that that conversation alone can get people into yeah, the next stage yeah. where they're like, you know what? No, you're right. I, I have to I have to do something different. And then they okay. they they end they basically that conversation facilitates the jump from a pre contemplation stage to a contemplation or, or, or action stage. So how important is uh, is the social uh, surroundings of the, of the of the client the peers? Yeah, that is super important, right? Like a support network yeah. or people they can talk to, lean on, if they have absolutely zero support, um, as great of a coach as you may be, that's going to make your job a hell of a lot tougher.